Okay, Sean Porter and Paulie Malignaggi squared off this weekend. Uh, Sean Porter puts his newly found world title on the line, which he won last time out against Devin Alexander. Um, and could be an interesting fight. Um, I believe that Sean Porter wins this fight. I think he retains his title. Malignaggi obviously getting another opportunity at a world title. Um, the reason I see Porter winning this is I see some uh, parallels uh, between this fight and the Alexander fight, um, you know, if you look at the the way the fight the fight pans out, there's more to Porter than first meets the eye. Uh, he can box a bit, but he can also um, rough it up as well. You know, he can make things difficult. He can get get in your face. He can be aggressive, um, and I believe the Porter likes the front foot. Um, now, that's what he was able to do against Alexander. Um, if you look at Alexander, he's a guy who prefers to be a bit more back-footed, a bit more uh, working from the outside, kind of behind the jab type fighter, um, trying to use a bit more skill uh, rather than sort of aggression and toughness. And I think that's I see those same um, qualities in Malinaji. This you know Malinaji likes to work by a jeep behind the jab. He likes to be slick. He likes to box. Um, you know. If you look at the guys Malinaji struggled against, the guys the guys that have beaten him, okay, we're going back a few years, but you've got um, uh, Koto, uh, Ricky Hatton, Amir Khan, um, all guy, all these guys are, you know, they're front-footed fighters. Uh, they're guys who like to attack. They've got good, good strong offense. Um, and I believe that Porter is of that ilk. Um, you know, and I just think that in this fight, Porter is, you know, defending it. I believe he's defending his title for the first time here. He's going to have a bit too much resolve and a bit too much determination for me, um, and will end up getting a decision against Malinaji. Um, I think he'll he'll just have a bit too much fire and aggression and 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 really, you know, force the fight. And um, in a way, he could choose to spoil the fight a bit and um, try and, you know, just spoil the fight for Malinaji. Keep him out of his rhythm. Be aggressive. You know. All the traits, you know, portray, develop, display all the traits that Malinaji struggles with. Um, you know, because Malinaji in this in this one, you know, you're looking for him to have that outside advantage, that skill, that that speed, that slickness. You're looking for him to. He wants to fight his own, fight his fight, you know, to fight his way. Um, and Porter's job is to make it uncomfortable for him and to change, turn, you know, keep the pace high, and uh, be on the front foot and stop Malinaji getting any rhythm. Um, you know, I'm expecting Malinaji in, 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 in some ways to have a bit more uh, noose about him, a bit more experienced kind of savvy about him in the way he goes about trying to implement, implement a game plan. And I'm expecting him perhaps to make it a little bit more difficult for Porter than Alexander was able to. Um, a, because I think uh, he's, you know, a bit more, he's a bit more of a schooled guy in boxing. He he is a kind of a student of the game. He does like to study boxing, um, and he does he does know quite a lot of what he's talking about. And um, you know, I think he's a type of guy who understands you have to go in there with, with a game plan. But also uh, because I think in hindsight, you know, he's got the um, luxury of looking back at at, at a fight that Porter's beaten, uh, you know, Alexander, um, and he can actually take take things from that and look look at that fight, watch it, and say he has to look and say. What did Alexander do wrong, and how am I going to uh, avoid making those same mistakes? And how can I change? And how can I how can I get a game plan that's actually gonna gonna um, give bring me success and actually defeat this guy? Um, if I'm Malinaji's trainer, to be a little bit more specific, I'm I would be advising him to really be training and focusing in this fight um, on developing a uh, successful body attack. Um, because if you if you look at it, look at it this way, if you if you develop a good body attack and you have success to the body, um, the opponent's natural has two natural um, reactions. The first one is to back off, and that means that Porter backs off a bit, becomes less aggressive, is, throws less volume, perhaps buys more time for Malinaji to get a game plan together to actually get his rhythm going, to start getting a bit of distance so he can work with that, and then he can actually start timing. Porter, you can actually, you know, mould the fight into his territory. Um, the other one is for Porter to actually want to get f close and clinch. 
um, to actually avoid, you know, to stop the barrage of body shots, to stop uh, Man Energy getting body shots off. Um, that also will reduce uh, Porter's volume because he may be looking to shoot to throw like maybe one punch or, the, or two punch maximum combination and then clinch. Um, and it may make it difficult for Malinaji because if you've got a guy who's clinching all the time and Malinaji likes a bit of space, um, it's going to be quite difficult because that, obviously if a guy's clinching, getting his punches off and clinching you, then it's up to you to try and manoeuvre, outmanoeuvre him and stop that happening. And also, you know, you need to be able to have a bit of savvy about your inside um, to deal with any dirty tactics or any anything that comes with inside fighting. Um, so there is that risk. But I really would advise Malinaji to work the body in this fight. I think that that would um, perhaps force Porter into a position where he has to he reacts to one of those two ways. I think if you if he doesn't if he if he head hunts too much, you know boxers can can sort of de they can defend against head head shots uh, quite a lot more than body shots, and they don't take their toll as body shots do, um, and they bring about different reactions. You know you always see guys get who are head hunting these come forward fighters, and they're just walking through them. And they're waiting for that opening to take them out. And I think that if he headhunts a bit too much and doesn't, he if he neglects Porter's body, I think that'd be a mistake by Malinaji. I would expect Porter to be sort of kind of walking through. Because remember, Malinaji really doesn't have a lot of punching power either. That's another disadvantage he has in this fight, and that's one of the reasons why I don't believe that this uh, this will, is, is a fight I'm expecting him to win because he does lack a bit of punching power. And really, you know, you're looking for a guy who really has. Can, can can give you solid blows to the body that are really going to weigh you down and hurt you and, and shock you a little bit and really hold their own. I think that Porter will be able to walk through these punches and will be able to lay on the aggression. And that's how, you know, as I mentioned earlier, I think that that aggressive approach will win him the fight in the judge's, uh, judge's eyes. Um, I think he'll end up getting a decision in this fight. Um, but but that's my input on on the fight. That's what I would advise Malinaji to do. That's what I think he should be looking to do if he's to get any, you know to have a good chance in this fight. Um, you know he could just choose to try and outbox uh, Porter um, as I guess Alexander tried to do. But I think you know look at looking at the Alexander fight, Porter's you know he's a good aggressive fighter. He's able to block you to to cut you off. He's able to uh, spoil that work. He can box himself, you know, he's, he's not a slouch himself in the boxing department, you know, Porter, so he can kind of hold his own um, in other ways as well. He's not purely just an aggressive fighter. And that, that's what makes he makes him a good fighter. That's that's uh, for him to keep his world championship. That's where he has to keep on proving against these guys. And he has his first um, test against uh, Paulie this weekend. So I'm looking forward to the fight. Um, I'm also going to be trying to cover a couple of other fights. I know we've got some fights here in the UK. We've got Scott Quigg fighting. Um, and we've got the big fight between Anthony Crawler and John Murray. That's a really good fight. Uh, you know, classic tear-up material there. And also we have uh, uh, Bernard Hopkins in the ring against uh, Baby Chumanov. So I'll be looking to cover some of those fights, um, time pending. But that's my that's my take on Sean Porter's fight with Pauli Malinaji. Um, I hope this has given you some food for thought. Please let me know what you guys think. Do you see any things I've missed? Any things that you think particularly uh, will be key in this fight? Um, so, yeah, drop me a line. This is Box Pred. I'm out.